Hi guys, it's me Karen, and I've come back to do part two of Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Now I'm going to mention something before I open the book. <laughs> I kind of went and did a little bit more work on the uh, flower tops, and there's a big change with all the bubbles on the back of the page. So what I did was painted the background completely black. Okay, and uh, the other work I did here was just kind of go through with a eraser and went down and took out a little bit of color here and added some like stripes for the crinkles of the um, page. I kind of did that a little bit on here, but um, I did take out a little bit more color with the eraser here, and then when I colored it, I just didn't went in with the um, black raspberry and put those lines in first instead of erasing them on the rest of the page. We're going to do the bubbles like this. <laughs> I was looking at it yesterday after I finished the flowers down here and then we had all these little white blobs on the page and I just could not figure out how I was going to um, do those without making them look so out of place and coloring them in solid with black and everything. So what I decided to do was I painted the page over and if you look at it close enough you can see that there's two coats of paint on the entire background except for where the uh, little circles are. If I get you up close enough I don't even know if you can tell. Did you see these little dots here? There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, and then the little dots, okay? I was also asked if you could see the um, streaking of the paint, and if you can see the texture of the paint, I guess is what I'm going here for. You can kind of see some texture in here. Streaking to me is meant to be something like uh, not completely covering the base, but if you're talking about brush marks, you're going to get those if you paint like I do. Just let you know. They don't bother me. Um, we're going to be doing the circles over again just like this. I'll show you how I did that. That's a really simple thing to do, by the way, as soon as you find everything you need to do it with. I use this little tool. I got this off of Amazon. I will leave a link down below uh, to where you can find it. I am not an Amazon affiliate or anything, but I will leave you the link down so you know where to even look for, because it's not like this has a name. I don't know if you've seen them in craft stores or anything. <laughs> so I, I saw somebody using one of these, and I followed their link. <laughs> so. I mean, that's how I found it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down this turned around so you can figure out any color you want or any shape. And there's like this little circle right there. In fact, I think I'll turn on the light here to make it a little easier. I don't know if that can, can you see those dots now? So we'll just find one and find a circle that it'll fit in. And there we go. We're going to use it right here going to take a little Prisma White and we're going to run it around the edge. And then we have a little right white circle in there. We're going to take a little bit of the Black Raspberry. We're going to go right over the white. And then we're going to get a little bit of the um, indigo blue, then we're going to go a little on the white over here on this side. Okay, we're going to lift that up, and you're going to get the blue on here and the red on here, and then we're going to take a little Tosca. We're going to make a little shine mark there, and if this white doesn't show up enough, I can't get my head down far enough for that. I'm going to have to get that wiped up a little bit. We just go on there. 
and kind of highlight that side. Give it a little second to sort of dry and then you kind of tap it down on that one side. And if you'd like, you can bring a little blue right up into it and a little red on the other side. Anyway, we're going to go through here. There's a circle here. It's about that big, so it's a bigger circle. I don't think it's this one. No, it's this one. Okay, it goes about like that. Do the same thing. We're not going to go over the petal, but we're going to tilt that in and go around. Go in with the red on one side. And then a little bit of the blue. Okay. Very little. Drop on that side. Brighten it up on that side. Blend it in. You can put a little red on this side too, just like that. So we're going to do all those dots that are big enough that this will fit on. We can do some of these little ones. You find a little one. There's a little one down here. I don't want to touch that yet. It's not dry. <laughs> Let it dry. Um, if it's that size, it probably is. Okay. So we're going to set it on there. And do this little dot here. Go in with the red. This is just a repetitive process. And then you have the little ones. Tiny little dot in there. And go around the edge. There are really tiny ones, and I really don't think I'm going to go around and try to use that tiniest spot there, and because it's not going to do anything with the pencil lead. <laughs> so I'm going to color those in plain white kind of dots, or I could do them in a different color. But what is going to happen after I get all the big dots, I'm going to put uh, the splatter paint on here and it'll cover up the rest of those little dots and maybe I'll put a big dot there and a big dot on the the ones that are too small for me to color in. This one's okay but when you get a little smaller than that it's going to get a little hard. <clears throat> and I'll also put like these have dots on them here. We're going to color those dots in with the Posca. And just get rid of those. Maybe add a few extra little ones around here too. Just so it doesn't look like plain old dots. I'm going to put stickles in the areas that are not colored and say in um, these kind of areas here. I think I'm going to go in on these and do the ruffle parts in blue like I did down here. So we'll go ahead and put the indigo on one side. And I can't tell if that one's going upward or downward, but we'll put a little there. Okay, and then instead of using the three colors, uh, like the slate blue next, I'm just going to go in with the um, sky blue light and color in the rest of that.
like that and it's kind of bringing the blue up. So between that and doing all the bubbles, I'm not sure if you want to watch me do every single little bubble or not. Because <laughs> they get kind of boring after a while. But like I said, you can see them through the paint. Just pick the shape you want to use. Go around the edge. And then add the colors that you want on top. You could do one in green if you want. You can do it in all blue. But I like the combination between the blue and the um, white and the pink. It just kind of brings it all up. So we'll just keep going around the edges on this. And what I'll do is come back and show you what they look like when they're done. Because this could get boring. <laughs> real quick. There's a big one over here. The reason I'm putting white down first instead of just the color, one you get that little white uh, shadow or reflection. <coughs> Two, obviously the blue is not going to show up too terribly well on black. Neither is the red. So with the white on the background, it gives you something to look at. And I'll just bring in the, the white here. So what I'm going to do is finish those little bubbles up. And then I'll show you how we do the... Um, oh, I'll finish coloring. Did you even see me color this? I don't know if you did, because I've got so much going on here. <coughs> I'll color this side if you didn't see it before. So that's just the indigo going on one side. If you saw me do this, then I'm just repeating myself and, well, sorry. <laughs> you get to see me do it again. Okay, and then just going in with the sky blue and filling that in. Kind of wanted to leave this one softer. If you want, you can go back over with the indigo and darken those corners up. You could actually get down to where you can see it. <laughs> I have the camera set up too high for this, but I wanted you to see the bubbles. Anyway, that's how the blue will go, and it'll go on every flower. So I will finish the blue up and the bubbles up, and then I will show you what it looks like when we're done. They show up a lot better if you don't have a blaring light on it. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Hold on. Hmm. Hey guys, we're back. I got the bubbles done and I put the little bubbles in here and the blue around the thing. What I'm going to do is take some of this. This is a satin acrylic paint. Uh, it's a titanium white folk art paint because my other one is empty. <laughs> and I'm going to make little white uh, dots up here. Two different ways. One, I took a picture prior to painting the background for a couple of reasons. One, I'm adding a little water on this blue palette over here. I put a dot of white paint and I'm adding a couple drops of water. I'm going to mix that up with my um, very loved paintbrush with very long bristles on it. This is the one I use for making splatters. So I'm going to mix those together. A little bit of water in that paint helps a lot because you want your water kind of thin when you're doing splatters. Now we have like the bu bubbles coming up from each of these flowers. Uh, 
put that tool away for a second. So when I'm doing the splatters, I'm going to kind of go up from one flower. up this flower <laughs> and then kind of up from this one. Now I'm going to get a little couple splatters on those uh, pink petals also. And the purple ones, the blue ones, get some little splatters down there. Not quite done with my splattering, but you kind of get the gist. I'm going to take the big ball on here, dip it in the paint. It only covers that much. And we're going to put some bigger dots in here too. So like right over here, right up here, and maybe there. Which kind of gives us our idea of it going up on this side of the flower. Now there were those uh, little tiny dots uh, that I covered up and this is replacing those. So just add them where you think they were or are because <laughs> I have the picture sitting up on my computer right now so I can kind of tell where they might have been. And just kind of add them in here. And a few more over here. I want to make that one bigger. There. Can you see all that? I don't know if you can or not. I'm going to add just a touch more water. And just add in a couple more of these splatters. until you decide um, you like it. I'm going to get a little few more down here. Speckle them up. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. I might want to get a few more on this side though, now that I see it without that page over here. I'm protecting the other page. I'm trying. These splatters go all over the place, like on my desk, on my supplies, on the other page. <laughs> that looks a little better on that side. Add a few down here, there. Okay. And we are finished. Not quite what we expected, huh? <laughs> but we got our bubbles. <clears throat> we got our little bubbles, our big bubbles, and everybody kind of going upward. And that's how it looks. So I'll leave a picture at the end of the video, a still picture. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, thank you. Take care, everyone. Bye now.